The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. RD-180 main engine and five solid rocket boosters ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins its initial pitch, yaw, and hold maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic load. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound at 35 seconds. Booster engine cutoff occurs Seconds, Centaur releases the Mio satellite for the United States Navy. In his Friendship 7 capsule, John Glenn's flight in 1962 was the first of four successful manned Mercury missions, which ushered in a new era of space travel. Today, the Atlas launch vehicle continues to play a vital role in meeting human spaceflight needs. The flight proven Atlas V is the launch vehicle of choice for companies vying to provide safe and reliable commercial crew transportation services for missions to the International Space Station. Hydraulics, go. Pneumatics, go. Hello 2, go. Water, go. Pento systems, propulsion, go. Pneumatics, go. Hello 2, go. LH2, go. Gas gas, go. Air electrical systems, airborne, go. Ground, go. Facility, go. RFFTS, go. Light control, go. Instrumentation, go. Com, go. Timer, go. GCQ, go. Silicles, go. ECS, go. Redline monitor, go. Quality, go. OSM, go. Delay safety officer, go. Range weather and clear to proceed, go. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director, yes. mission to launch. Proceeding with the count. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus four minutes and holding. Polling is complete and the team has given the go for the launch of the MUOS-1 mission at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Standard. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and we have a liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the first mobile user objective system mission for the United States Navy. MUOS will significantly enhance communications for U.S. forces on the move. You're now hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle asset data. Let's listen in for mission progress.
Booster Pew is now in closed loop control. Engine response looks good. And the booster has begun its next throttle segment. Engine response looks good. Next event will be the SRB burnout. Chamber pressures continue to look good. And we're having SRB burnout. Signatures look good. And we've begun throttling back up right on time. And we have Jettison solids 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Looks like a clean separation. 